Hey, Jason Starr here, and the topic of this video is writing in multiple genres. And this is based on a question that came to me from a subscriber who wanted to know about writing in multiple genres, whether in particular you should change your name when you're writing in multiple genres, maybe use a pen name, and how you go about making that decision. Uh, first of all, it depends on what stage in your career you're at most importantly. Most first writers uh, will start off at least with their actual name or possibly not. I mean th the famous example is Lee Child. That is not his actual name and he, act he used that uh, for his first book and managed to, st to stick with it for years. But in most cases authors use their, fir their actual name for their first book and there's different reasons why they'll change the name. Um, one reason might be for um, if, you, if you're writing in a different genre. So let's say your first novel or your first several novels were mysteries or thrillers, and now you're gonna write a sci-fi novel or a fantasy novel or a young adult novel. You might wanna use a different name uh, to uh, differentiate your books to your readers so your fan base knows that this is not your typical type of book. And some writers have simultaneous series going on under uh, pen names. But probably a ma another major or the major reason why authors decide to use pen names is for marketing reasons. Uh, there's a database called BookScan, and some of you may know about it, but it's the database that agents and publishers and bookstores refer to, and uh, publishers use this when they're making decisions about whether to buy a book. So they'll look at your past sales numbers, and if you're a thriller author and you have very mediocre sales numbers and now you went ahead and wrote a young adult novel, it's possible that it would help you, uh, it would help your agent get a sale, but it would also help the publisher pitch it to their marketing people if they had a different name. So the, book but the bookstores aren't looking in BookScan at your mediocre numbers and you might get a higher advance for that reason. So that's, that's a major reason why um, uh, some authors wind up changing their names. And I have some thoughts about BookScan and its effect on uh, publishing, and I'll, I'll get, that, get to that in another video. But that's a major reason why. Um, the other reason, as I said, is the, is the first reason, is whether you want to uh, differentiate your books to your fans. And when you're making that decision, I think it depends on, first of all, like how, um, it, it, how successful your books have been uh, to begin with. For example, if you're uh, a very widely known mystery writer and you've won some awards, for example, or you have some great blurbs for your book, or other stuff that your, you know, your book has achieved that might help market the book, even in another genre, then you might consider not changing your name. For example, if you won the Edgar Award uh, for mystery fiction and now you wrote a sci-fi novel, it seems to me that that would be a reason to stick to your name, um, because the advantages of your name recognition are gonna outweigh uh, the concerns about uh, alienating some of your readers. So it's really something you have to deal with on an, invi on an individual basis. Um, there's no real set rule for this, but um, it is something a lot of authors go through at some point because part of having a, a long career as a writer, and I strongly believe in this, is at some point you're probably going to have to mix it up and work in a different genre. For example, um, Elmore Leonard, who obviously is a extremely successful crime writer started off writing westerns and there's always going to be a point uh, in most writers career where you're going to have to switch it up and you're going to get to the point where uh, you're going to get to, where you're going to uh, want to consider writing in another genre and you're going to have to make this decision so something to think about um, if you're interested more in uh, learning about book scan and you're a member of um, Amazon Author Central they let you have access to your book scan numbers. And you should remember that they do not include all sales. They don't include uh, library sales or ebook sales. It's only reflective of chain bookstore sales and independent stores. Um, supposedly, this makes up 
a vast majority of cells, but many authors feel that it leaves out um, some important outlet for cells and it doesn't give publishers a real uh, picture of how the book is actually done, but that's the subject for another video. Please like the video, subscribe, and come back soon.